All right, so we have unbridled mode on, propulsion sound on. Let's hear this bad boy. Nope, nothing. How's it going guys? Thank you so much for joining me in this video. We're gonna be talking about the three drive modes in the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now Ford has engineered these drive modes to be um, a little bit different and just to keep things a little bit fun. Now the first thing you'll notice is the names. So these names are absolutely ridiculous. I love them. Uh, unbridled, Engage, and Whisper. Um, keeps things a little bit fun and uh, I just think they're awesome I, I, I like that they didn't go with like sport normal and eco uh, just like every other boring uh, car manufacturer so the first thing you'll notice when you go into the drive modes um, there's whisper engage and unbridled but there's also additional settings so you can actually control whether you want the one pedal drive on or off you can put ambient lighting uh, automatic or manual and then you can actually turn on or off the propulsion sound i personally hate the one pedal drive just because this is not the only car i drive so when i come from a regular ice car or you know a gasoline engine car um into this thing and i have the one pedal drive on it takes me a little bit to get used to it so i've honestly just left it off um in regards to the auto auto ambient lighting selection uh it depends on what i'm in the mood for um I usually just leave it off to be honest with you and propulsion sound it's a little bit gimmicky um it's cool at first but then i just literally turn it off every single time um in regards to the auto ambient lighting selection it's pretty cool um so it is kind of like whitish in whisper when you're in engage mode it turns blue and then unbridled it turns red orange ish um what's really cool about this if you don't want to go by drive mode you just turn that off and you can go here into settings and uh you just scroll all the way down to am uh, li ambient lighting and you can actually change the uh, ambient lighting settings on the car so i can do you know orange blue red whatever i'm in the mood for um which is pretty cool so really what are the differences between these three driving modes well this is a uh, straight from ford straight from the horse's mouth you get it the horse's mouth because this is a mustang you know funny joke right okay so straight from ford this is what they say um about each one of the driving modes so Alrighty guys, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn all of the additional settings on, one pedal drive, auto ambient lighting selection, and then propulsion sound. Um, just so you guys can hear what happens in each mode, how they're all different. Um, but basically, I'm gonna drive in each one of them just so you guys can get a little bit of a feel, I mean, as much as you can uh, through a video um, of each one of the driving modes. And then I'm gonna tell you after six months and almost 15,000 miles of having this car, which one I drive in and I prefer the most. So make sure to stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so we're starting off our test in Whisper, which is supposed to be the most like tame or docile mode. Um, all of the additional settings are turned on. So the one pedal drive is turned on, the auto ambient lighting selection is on, and the propulsion sound is on. Um, how does this feel to drive in Whisper? 
Uh, the one pedal drive is very gentle, so it's gonna be the less abrupt of the three drive modes, which is kind of nice. I mean, I don't like the one pedal drive, like I said, um, but if I am driving with the one pedal drive on, I would prefer it in whisper so it doesn't like jolt you back in your seat. Um, in regards to the propulsion sound, same thing. I mean, it's called whisper, so it's you're not gonna have a rumbling V8 coming out of the speakers at all times. Um, there I'm flooring it and I, to be honest, I don't even hear any propulsion sound. I don't know if it's cause I'm congested or what. Um, but yeah, Whisper, uh, you know, very, very soft and uh, light feeling steering. Um, not too crazy on the uh, acceleration, you know, the throttle response, they like numb it down a little bit. And then the uh, propulsion sound is basically non-existent. Uh, so that's basically just a summary of the whisper mode. Now we switch over to engage. And so engage, yes, the uh, steering feel is a little bit heavier, not super heavy, but it, it's still, you know, you still get a little bit more, uh, it feels less numb. You get a little bit more uh, steering response when you move around the steering wheel. Uh, the ambient lighting, of course, changed to the uh, blue from a very, very light blue to, I guess, more blue. Um, one pedal drive, the regen braking is a little bit more aggressive. Um, you can actually, it, it like pulls you forward a little bit um, when you take your foot off the gas. And the propulsion sound, you can actually hear it a little bit now. Um, so yeah, that's just basically is engage. Um, and then unbridled, this is where things get really fun. Uh, so the uh, uh, one pedal drive is super aggressive. I mean, uh, I'm on a stoplight right now, but let me wait until it turns uh, green so I can show you guys. But uh, auto ambient lighting is uh, turned red or orange. It's still daytime out, so you can barely see it. Um, the propulsion sound, I will floor it in just a second so you guys can hear it. It's like a low rumbling noise. I, I picture it like a, I don't know, I would compare it to like a luxury V8 sound, like like an Escalade V8. Um, you know, it's not loud, but it's like a little rumble. So let me floor it so you guys can hear it. That was me flooring it just a, just a second there. Um, but it's not very loud. It, like I said, it has like a little bit of a rumble to it, but um, just like a very muffled, V8 noise um, it's kind of cool and then the rejet of course it's gonna have the most aggressive like I'm flooring it and then I'm coming off the, the throttle and uh, yeah it, it, it pulls you forward just quite a bit um, you know the most aggressive regen now Ford and I found this very interesting but Ford it says that there is no difference in the range from the drive modes but that kind of makes sense because it all depends on how you drive. Like there's no engine to like increase the RPMs or anything on like a regular car. Like if you put a car in sport mode, you know, it increases the RPMs and changes the shifts and all that stuff. There's none of that in this car. So really it just depends on how much you press the uh, throttle or the go pedal. Um, and that's gonna basically dictate your range. So there's no, uh, there's no difference in range in any of these three modes. Now the regen, if you're driving in the city, the regen is more aggressive as in unbridled. So I'm thinking if you're driving city and you wanna get the most out of the car, um, put it in unbridled cause the uh, regen braking is gonna be the most aggressive. So I'm thinking it might recapture more of that energy uh, to be able to use again. Um, but that's just uh, me assuming. Um, but yeah, Ford says there is no difference in any of the three modes. Now, which of the three modes would I drive in the most or uh, which one do I prefer? Um, I personally drive it in engage and I turn off one pedal drive. I turn off that and then I turn off the propulsion sound just cause I think it's annoying. Um, but yeah, basically I drive this car in engage the whole time. Steering response is really nice. Oh, there's a car cutting in front of me. Um, yeah, in engage steering response is really nice. Um, you know, you can still floor it and it's still pretty fun. Um, 
but I think this is the best mode to drive the car in just for daily driving. If I want to be a lunatic and just like, you know, floor it all the time and all that stuff, feel like I'm <laughs> in a sportier car, I'll put it in unbridled. And uh, yeah, the uh, steering wheel gets a little bit heavier. Um, acceleration, I think, honestly, is, is pretty much the same as Engage. Um, and, you know, without the propulsion sound or the one pedal drive, like pulling you forward, um, it's pretty similar. It's just, it feels a little bit more relaxing to have a little bit of a softer steering wheel uh, with the Engage versus the Unbridled. I can definitely feel the difference there. Uh, so there you guys have it. Those are the three drive modes in the Mach-E. Let me know what you guys think. And just for fun, we're going to do a little bit of a launch here in unbridled mode because why not? Um, that's the reason this car comes with stuff like this. So let me just uh, come to a stop here and let's just floor it. It is fun. I honestly prefer the, uh, the whining noise of the electric engines over the propulsion sound. Um, I think it sounds so cool. It sounds like you're in Tron, like you're just like... I don't know it's it sounds crazy um but you know I, i've heard the uh porsche uh the uh, taycan and stuff has also that kind of like whining noise which is pretty cool um but there you guys have it let me know what you think in the comments below um if you drove a mach -E, or if you currently drive one uh which mode would you pick like i said i personally prefer the engage and i think that is uh you know just a perfect setting for like daily driving and stuff uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next video